Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Tonight I want to address a group of people that I will refer to as closet Christians. There are people who believe Jesus is their Savior. And they're saved and they're going to heaven and hallelujah, I'm very thankful for that. But sadly, many of these people seem to be embarrassed or even ashamed of identifying themselves with Jesus, their Savior. Have you ever noticed that if you have a small group of people and someone brings up the subject of God, the conversation can be very mm, cordial, polite, as long as they discuss God in a generic sense. But if any individual dares to say the name of Jesus in that conversation, quickly, all hell will break loose. It's because the name Jesus divides. Jesus even said, Do not think that I came to bring peace. No, I came to bring division. Households will divide over me. Father against son, husband against wife, and so on. The name of Jesus Christ divides. Jesus also said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my Father in heaven. Do you love Jesus Christ? Do you, are you thankful for Jesus Christ dying for your sins? Are you thankful that he is your Savior and you're going to go to heaven? simply because of him? If so, then don't be embarrassed or ashamed of Jesus. As Christians, we should never be speaking of God generically. We should always use the name of Jesus when we refer to to God. When we're talking about God and theology, the name Jesus should be front and center. Because the Bible says it is the name above all names. The Bible says there is no other name under heaven whereby we must be saved. And if you consider yourself to be a Christian, Christianity is based upon Christ. So I'm going to ask you, are you in the closet? Are you keeping your faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior? Are you keeping it secret? Come out of the closet. Proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. If you love him and you're thankful for him for saving you, if you're thankful that he's given you eternal life in heaven, then come out of the closet and publicly acknowledge him whenever you can. All right, I hope I'm giving you something to think about. If you fit into this category, of a closet Christian.